Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and a show of hands if you like free stuff. Free as in beer, and I think probably the majority of your hands are up right now. Now, another show of hands, do you like real-time ray tracing? Okay, a few less hands there, but still, there's a lot of interest in um, the world of real-time ray tracing. There is some question if this is the next new hotness in the world of graphics, and it is arriving today. We are starting to see games such as the new Metro game, or Battlefield 5, or the Tomb Raider title starting to ship with real-time ray tracing enabled. Now, the initial um, results are a little mixed. No people, Not too many people are arguing about the results, but the performance cost, that's a different story. But this is definitely looking like the future. This is looking like where NVIDIA and to a lesser degree, AMD are going to be allocating future resources. So um, love it or hate it, it does look like real-time ray tracing or path tracing is going to be part of our near future. And so it might be a good time to learn more about the subject, and that is today's topic. There is a free digital book on ray tracing gems. So let us jump in and take a look at what this is all about. Now, obviously, you've probably already heard of NVIDIA's RTX uh, ray tracing. This is the real-time ray tracing um, that we're talking about here behind the scenes. There's also DXR, which is direct X ray tracing. Those two go together to provide real-time or near real-time ray tracing capabilities. Now, the book we are talking about is Ray Tracing Gems Preview. Now, if you've ever seen a graphics gems or GPU gems book, you got an idea of what you're dealing with. There, um, generally, the first editions are a lot more topical about the topic in general, but then you get a lot of recipe or application-based approaches. And this is a book written by um, dozens and dozens of authors. A lot of these people are from NVIDIA themselves, uh, but there are also um, there's people from DICE, for example, people that are in the trenches using real-time ray tracing. Now, the book itself is not technically available yet, but part one, part two, part three, part four, and theoretically part five, because that was yesterday, and then uh, part six and seven are coming next week. The whole idea is this book is going to be available in print form uh, at GDC, which is March the something or other. I, I actually don't remember. Uh, Mid-March. Hopefully the date was up here, so I don't need to remember. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, mid-March is when the final print copy is going to be available. So this is a full, complete version of the book as it is developed um, under the Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License, also known as the CC by NCND. Okay, breathe. So that is what this book is. Basically, it is along the lines of uh, the GPU gem series of books, but it's all about ray tracing. So let's take a look at the table of contents. Um, so this section, part one, part two, part three, and part four are all currently available. Part five should be, but the download link is broken. Um, and six and seven are coming later this week, as I mentioned earlier on. Now, if you go through these names, they're kind of a who's who in graphics programming right now. So you can see there are dozens of different contributors on this actual title. Um, so if we start off, the first part is all about the ray tracing basics, things like what is a ray, the terminology behind it, introduction to DXR's implementation of it, um, and then two kind of spin-off subjects. Then we get into intersections and efficiency, so a fast and robust method for avoiding self-intersection, precision uh, improvements for ray sphere intersection, cool patches, uh, multi-hit ray tracing in DXR, and a simple load balancing scheme with high efficiency. And then in part three, we get on to reflections, refractions, and shadows. Part four, we move on to sampling. Part five, we get into denoising and filtering. Um, those are the ones that should be available now. And then we get into part six and seven coming soon. Part six is hybrid approach and systems. Um, and part seven is global illumination. So that is essentially the book. That is the cover of the book. I couldn't find it in a high quality version. And again, you are going to be able to buy a print copy after GDC. In the meantime, you can download these in PDF form. We go back here, you will find at the bottom, there is a link to each one. Now there is a bit of a caveat. You do need to have an NVIDIA Developer Zone account to sign up. Uh, in my case, I just used my uh, Gmail via um, Open Auth 2, so I didn't need to create an account or do anything there. You just need to have a valid uh, OAuth 2 provider email account, such as Gmail. Um, I haven't been spammed or bothered or anything. I'm already actually in the NVIDIA Developer Program, and they actually send you some pretty useful stuff. Um, so I don't, I don't really care about signing up anyways, but I know that is a stickling point for some people. In this case, it is literally you just give them your email address, and that is it. So there's no real data mining going on here or anything else like that. Uh, as I mentioned a couple times, unfortunately, 
definitely part five should be hyperlinked off here, uh, but it is not available. Uh, and we should see uh, six and six again. Uh, hopefully they'll fix that typo when they come in and add the links for their stuff. So six and seven should be uh, in a couple of days time. Five hopefully will be up any day now. Uh, all of their links and resources say that five is out. It's just there's no download link for it yet. Uh, in terms of the other ones, here is what each one is, looks like. So here is part one to give you an idea of what you're dealing with. And we are going from page one to uh, page 56. So the whole grand total of the book, if we go to the table of contents, which did I lose that? No, here we go. Uh, I thought it said the page count. Anyways, it's, it's going to come in at about a 400 and 450 page book. Here is your first breakdown. It is a well-documented, well-graphed book. Uh, you do get some pseudocode in there, and then some of it is just straight-out mathematical equations, which will, in fact, make your eyes melt. So I should warn you of that up front. I am not the greatest at game development math. I have my, you know, 101 level math functionality, and this is beyond that. So a lot of this stuff is quite... Uh, sophisticated or complicated not the not the beginning chapters but it does get to the point where your eyes will start to cross so do be aware right up front you can learn something from this book without really understanding the math but you're going to have to really understand math to truly exploit this book so just to be aware of that up front this is a math heavy book as are most of the gpu jams in fact so uh so here is part two you can see the team involved in it and as i mentioned each chapter has a ton of people involved in it i am still scrolling through the who's involved in this book and there you get an idea. So this one, again, is several... Um, oh, actually, we have the full table of contents prefixing this part. So we're looking at 512 pages. So this is going to be a substantial book when it is finished. And you can get an idea by going to part two what the complete contents of the book actually are. And then we got part three here again. Part four is now available. And sadly, part five is MIA. So it is announced, you can see here it is available, and then they will come down here and tell you to go to the developer zone to download it. But when you do so, it, it's just not there yet. So hopefully that will show up. Hopefully someone from NVIDIA is watching this can, can, can smack someone on the back of the head, tell every web dev to uh, edit this link, and also that they, they have a bit of a typo here. But regardless, it is definitely an interesting project. This is a complete commercial grade book. Uh, the majority of it is now available, and especially the stuff you need to get started. It, it is kind of a chronological book in terms of your understanding of the topic, so you don't really need to wait for it to finish to really jump in. If the subject of real-time ray tracing appeals to you. Now, that is a good question. Do you care about DirectX ray trace or DXR or slash um, real-time ray tracing from uh, NVIDIA, or do you think that this is going to be a dud? Personally, my opinion on this, I think this generation is going to be a, a bit of a miss. I think it's going to be a, a novelty feature that the majority of people probably don't turn on. But I think in one more generation, so when we're dealing with the 30 series of cards, for example, this is going to be the new norm, especially because it doesn't make sense for us to push games at uh, 1080p at 144 and beyond hertz. Like it, There's a lot of diminishing returns there. So when we start to instead look for more performance, which we've pretty much maxed out, what we'll instead look for is more fidelity. And at that point in time, we are going to be willing to take the performance hit. But that performance hit has to get above 60 frames per second. And I think that's where it's struggling right now is when you're hearing things like Battlefield 5 are running at 40 to 50 frames per second with the real-time ray tracing turned on, well, that is suddenly, that's a noticeable performance hit. Not an outrageous one. I grew up from an era where 12 frames per second was considered playable, but anything sub 60 frames per second, especially if you're a professional player or you're playing multiplayer, you will notice that. Uh, and so I think that's what we need to see. I think we did see a, um, another generation of silicon uh, that just makes it so that the performance hit from this isn't so extreme. And then I think almost everybody agrees that real-time ray tracing looks better turned on than off, at least in the majority of cases. And we're at like version one of this stuff. Now, who knows? Maybe this generation of performance is going to get so much better on the hardware level that we won't need another generation of, um, hard, sorry, on the software level. So we don't need another generation of hardware to make it viable. I just don't see that. I think this is a next gen thing. But if you want to get in on ground zero and you want to start developing and playing with and learning this stuff, well, today's hardware is what you have to work with. So I'd be interested what your view of real-time ray tracing is. Do you think it's a, a fad or it's the future or do you think it's here today? Let me know. Comments down below. You're going to be checking out this book. Uh, it's definitely, I, I love the GPU series of books, at least the early ones. They started getting a little bit more 
uh, let's call them abstract as time went on, but I think they made like 900 of them. So that's going to happen over time. But uh, let me know what you think of the book. Let me know what you think of RTX and DXR, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.